what is up guys welcome back to my channel i know it has been such a long time since i posted a makeup video and i'm telling you it was just so it was just so much stuff going on honestly it was a lot of stuff going on but i am back okay i am back back i'm back <laughs> and i am going to be doing um some more makeup videos and things for you guys because i know I know you guys have been missing me and I just want to be able to show some makeup stuff, okay? So like I said in a couple of my previous videos before, I am not a makeup artist. I just like makeup. Um, I've been out of the game for a while, so hopefully the techniques show clear here. <laughs> I hope. Maybe. I don't know. Ah. But I actually did this makeup look today. It was truly inspired by another artist, which I will link right here. Um, this is her work. I tried to see if I could kind of, kind of mimic it. Um, let me know what you guys think. Go ahead and check out her content. I'll go ahead and link it down below as well. So you guys can see exactly how it's done. And if my reminiscence of this makeup didn't work for you, Go check her out, all right? She's a, like, she's a better, <laughs> it looks, it just looks better on her, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, in today's makeup, I am gonna be using the Juvia's Place Culture Palette, and this is the palette that the other creator has used as well. And um, ideally, the, the palette is freaking amazing and beautiful. There are so many different beautiful colors that you all can use. Um, I am definitely going to start making videos with utilizing as many colors as possible in this palette because it's just amazing. Juvia's Place always has really pigmented colors, very user-friendly, very easy-friendly. One thing that's really neat about it too is like if you just look at starting from the bottom all the way up, this can be a whole makeup look. Same thing with here, like using all these different colors, this could be a whole makeup look. Straight up, straight down. <laughs> so if you're looking for colors, you got them all right here. You just have to figure out where to place them and things like that, all right? Like I told you guys before, I am not a professional makeup artist by no means. I am just a learner starter basic person. Like there would be times where I wanna go out and look good and I'm like, okay, let me look at a makeup tutorial and I just wanna kinda see if I could make that work. Honestly, it just takes a little bit of time, a little bit of practice and Today, I think I did pretty good on the look. So let me know what y'all think. But yeah, if you guys are interested in watching this video, please go ahead and stay tuned. And yeah, I'll show you guys how this whole thing works and how it looks. <laughs> All right, guys. So starting off, what I do want to do is knock out my eyebrows. But before I even start that, I like to put a primer on. And um, today, I'm going to be using a different primer. It's this primer right here. It is the e.l.f. Power Grip. 4% niacinamide primer and this primer apparently all the TikTok has been saying this primer is bomb. This is going to be my first time using it. So I hope, I hope I don't break out. So we'll see. So this is really cool because it does have a little pump thing here. So I'm just going to place or pump this on the back of my hand just like that. And then I'm just going to put, wow, this is really pretty thick. I don't know if y'all can see that. But I'm going to go ahead and place this on my face and kind of like roll that in. One thing that a lot of people have been saying about this primer is that it grips the makeup. It keeps it on your face and is good. So, I don't know. First time using it, um, I don't know. It, it does feel a little thick on my face, honestly. I do feel that it feels pretty thick. So we'll see how we'll see how that goes. All right, the next thing I want to do is my eyebrows and we are going to start off with these brows. So the product that I'm using is a Sephora. This is the retractable brow pencil. Is this one right here? You can find it at any Sephora obviously and it is in the shade chocolate brown. Um the main thing that I do with my brows and this hasn't really changed honestly is um I'm just using another mirror right here guys sorry but um I just like to kind of brush my brows up just a little bit just to kind of see the shape of them um and see what I'm working with right now and plus to make them a little bit more fluffy and then I'm able to kind of cater it to how I want it to look for this look today all right 
So the key with brows is you have to do really small light strokes. I like to kind of start at the bottom, just like that, just to get a nice line in there. And then just kind of give that bottom shape a nice start. I'm telling you like, guys, I'm not a professional by no means. This is something that I just do for fun. So yeah, sorry if you're hearing like noise and stuff in the background, it's just madness right now. <laughs> so now I wanna kind of go to the top of the brow and just angle that downward just like that it looks crazy i'm telling you it looks crazy i know i understand um but it, it's gonna work okay trust me it's gonna work all right so you should have kind of a shape that looks pretty decent um the one way that i remember how people taught my brow or taught me how to do brows kind of um, the brow is supposed to kind of stop like right here and then the arch is supposed to start like right here and then the tip is supposed to end like at the corner of your eye like right here something like that so if you have those three things your brow will be fine all right so let me come back with my brows both brows done and I'll show you guys the next step. all right y'all so both brows are done as you can see um, what I like to do next is use the back part of this um, brow pencil. Go to the front and kind of just like ombre this out just a bit. That's all I would need for right now. So the next thing I wanna do is conceal underneath the bottom of my brows. And what I like to use is, this is the MAC um studio fix conceal and correct palette and this is in the shade dark i've used this palette multiple times for multiple years year on year like if you see some of my previous videos you notice that i use this palette okay <laughs> so i'm gonna go in with this shade right here as you can see it's like a crevice there because that's the shade that i use for my brows so uh, i'm gonna use a little angled brush and uh, this brush is a, a Mex Design brush. You got you get this brush from like Walmart, your beauty supply store, it doesn't really matter. But any brush that you feel comfortable with um, and that has really light strokes and you're able to kind of get directly underneath your brows, that's the brush that you need to use, okay? <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, start at the bottom and just slowly, lightly do really light shades just like that right directly underneath the brow i'm not worried about the top i'm just doing right underneath just like that and you're doing really light shades really light strokes i mean and all you're doing is bringing that color down just like this for your to use on your lids um and I like to kind of use my finger and just buff that out. Just like that. See? Simple. Simple. This is what I do for my brows, guys. I'm telling you, it's not that hard. It's not that hard. Um, so I'm going to go in with a little bit more of this same shade. And I'm going to go ahead and place it on my other brow. So same exact thing. Take it directly underneath. And just do really light strokes. And then take my finger and just blend that down just like that all right so this is how I do my brows and that's pretty much it so since we are doing or want to have a little bit of color pop on our lids um, what I like to use is a, um, a lid primer let me go get it because I completely freaking forgot it but just stay tuned okay all right, I want these colors to pop a bit. So what I'm going to be using is the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. It looks just like this, guys. Hopefully you can see it. Um, and then I'm going to take a little bit on my finger. And I'm just going to place this directly on my lids. You got to prime your lids. You can use concealer as well. I like to use both, honestly. So take a little bit of this. And place it all over your lids. 
then all I'm using is just my fingers. Just like that. All right, so next what I like to use is the Maybelline concealer. I have no idea what shade it is, but it's pretty light. It's pretty bright. So we're just gonna use a little bit of this, place it on our lids here, because what we're trying to do is brighten this up just a bit, all right? And all I'm doing is taking my fingers and I am just placing that all over my lids. Brighten that up a bit. If you get it underneath, that's <laughs> that's fine. And then to set this concealer, um, what I like to use is just the Sasha Buttercup setting powder, um, and then place that directly on top, just like that. Just so that I have a really good base to put on for my eyeshadow. Boom. All right, so um, today we are using the Juvia's Place Culture Palette. And if you guys don't know about this palette, this palette apparently is the bee's knees, all right? So many bright colors. There is a Culture 2 palette, but I just got the Culture 1 and it's affordable. So go ahead and grab yourself the palette. So um, the color that we're starting off with is this shade right here at the bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and put this color or this shade in the crease. There we go. All right. Yeah, we're just gonna use a nice fluffy brush and place this right here in the crease. This shade is like so nice. Really good transition shade. So take a lot on your brush, put it on there, and this baby works really well. And if you guys don't know, Juvia's Place palettes are extremely pigmented. So you can make you can make some things happen with this palette, okay? And the creator that I'm um, trying to hopefully achieve this look from, <laughs> she actually did an amazing job with this look. So I probably failed to comparison, but I'm I'm gonna try and make it work, all right? Like I said, I'm not a professional makeup artist or anything like that. This is me every day type of makeup all right so if you want to just look your best for a special occasion you know that's that's kind of what I'm doing that's what I'm doing So now I'm gonna go ahead and do it to this eye here and I'll show you guys the next step. All right, so I did uh, this eye and also this one and we're good on that. Now we need a dark brown color. Um, inside that culture palette, it doesn't have the dark brown shade that the creator used. So what I am gonna be using is another Juvia's Place palette and this is the Zulu palette. This palette is bomb as well. Like I said, very, very pigmented colors. Um, I'm going to be using this right here. This is a dark brown shade. I'm not really sure what the name of the shade is called. I'm sorry. But it is in the Zulu palette. And for this one, I am going to be using this brush. This is the Morph E22 brush. I'm just going to grab um, a lot <laughs> of this pigment and then put it in my outer V. All right, so that shade is not giving me the effect that I want. I need to get a darker shade. I decided to pull out another <laughs> Juvia's Place palette. This is the Nubian 2 palette. Um, I believe I used this palette in one of my videos in the past. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here, which is called Kenya. And hopefully I'll be able to achieve a more darker V, uh, outer V look. Um, we'll see. We'll see because I'm, I'm not sure, right? Like I said, I'm not a professional, guys. This is something that I do for fun. And I haven't really done a video, a makeup video in a while. So just, just stay with me, okay? Please. Trials and tribulations right now. All right, so 
this is kind of giving a darker look uh i think i'm gonna roll with this so we're gonna go ahead and put this on this other eye and then i'll be right back all right so it's giving me a little darker look on both sides let me know what you guys think uh if you want to go darker by all means go ahead i don't have a darker brown so it won't be able to pop and i don't want to use black because i don't really want to smudge it out and kind of make it look like a smoky eye if that makes sense so we're gonna keep moving on we're gonna keep pressing on all right so going back to the culture palette we're gonna be using the shade shauna shona which is this right here beautiful i mean this shade is just gorgeous <laughs> uh, so we're gonna be using the shade i'm gonna use a flat kind of brush this is really good to get that lid all right so I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade put it on my brush and then to make the shade pop out even a little bit more I have some setting spray but honestly this is water guys because sometimes setting spray works sometimes it doesn't for me but water always works so I'm just gonna spray a little bit of that uh, water onto my brush and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it onto my lid You'll see how that color just pops out there. So I like to start in the middle just to kind of get a sense of what I'm doing and then slowly creep into the inner tear duct. So this is the look that I'm trying to achieve. There's gonna be a little bit of eyeshadow right here at the top that's fine we could go back in and fix that up so i'm gonna go ahead and knock out this other eye and then pop back in all right guys so i knocked out both eyes as you can see there is a little bit of fallout um not fallout but extraness at the top that is fine that is okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fix that up a bit all right so we're gonna go in back with this brown shade here that we started off with and we're just gonna go ahead and cut that crease yet again just to make sure we're just gonna clean up the excess uh, gold that's on there. And all you have to do is just, just pop that in, that's it. Just to get that a little bit more defined, that's it. And you see how much better that looks? That's, that's all we going for, okay guys? That's it, I'm telling you, I'm not a professional at all. Go ahead and do this with the other eye. All right guys, what I'm gonna be using next is just using just a eyeliner pencil and line my lash line and then um, put on my lashes. Alright, so next what I'm going to be using is the Sephora lashes. Um, I just have a lot of Sephora products. I like going to Sephora. I saw these lashes. I was like, yo, I got to try it. We'll see exactly how they work today. Alright, um, but these are the Essential False Lashes uh, Swanky Chic and they look just like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these lashes on off camera so you don't see me struggling trying to put these lashes on and then I'll get back to you, okay? Alright, so I put my lashes on and if my lashes are crooked, whatever, I don't want to hear it, okay? But yeah, once I put on my lashes, what I did again was kind of line the lash line and what I use is a Maven, Maven? Yeah, Maven Water proof liquid liner and this one you can honestly get this from um fashion nova i believe they sell the product but you can find it on there and this one's actually pretty good so now we're going to start off by doing our face okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is start to color correct and what i like to use is the pumpkin um match stick from fenty beauty it looks just like this and i like to kind of get on some of these dark spots and disgusting little things that i see on my face I have, I have a bunch of dark spots. Dude, it's from acne, all right? Sorry, I get acne. I'm sorry. Um, but what I like to use is a nice damp beauty blender and I just want to go ahead and blend all of that out. All 
Okay. All right, guys. So the next step, since I already got my eyes already done, the next step is my foundation. So the foundation that I have been using, and this foundation is honestly, and honestly is like a really good foundation. Um, haven't had any issues or anything like that. This is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Air Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Whew, such a mouthful. Is this foundation right here, and I am in the shade 16 Neutral. So this shade for some reason works for me. I used to use um, MAC NW45, but it was it was too warm. It was like an orangey color. I didn't really like that. And my skin is not orange, you know what I mean? So I wanted to do something a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put a little bit of this on my face. Ooh. Just like that. And I just put two of these little things, little squirts. And I am just going to go ahead and blend that into my into my skin. And what I'm using is a damp beauty blender. This by far is the best way to actually like apply any sort of foundation, I think. A lot of people like using brushes, but for me, I love this dang on beauty blender. And look how this just blends in. Guys, if you haven't tried this foundation, go ahead and try it and let me know what y'all think because if you don't like it you can always return it so go to Sephora try it out get your skin color try it out see if you like it and and let me know what y'all think I'm just gonna put a little bit more because I think I just need to blend this in just a little more and then um, blend it into my like forehead yeah, this shows up a little bit bright, but I'm telling y'all, it's it's fine. It works. And all I'm doing is just pat. Just like that. And this this just blends in so freaking good, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this is so good. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is actually put on some concealer. And the concealer that I use, this is like my go-to. This is the LA Pro Girl Concealer. I always use this whenever I like go out to a big function and stuff. But for everyday concealer, I believe I use the NARS Conceal um, in the shade Ahmad. But this one right here, this one kind of brightens out my under eye a lot. So, and I've always had really good just coverage, just everything with this concealer. And I've noticed, I mean, I've been out of the makeup video game for a while. One thing that I have noticed is that a lot of people have put it on their concealer a little bit different lately. But for me, I just, I just keep it the same, right? I may try other things maybe later, but um, right now I'm just, I'm just keeping it the same. And I like to kind of carry this concealer a little bit up on my nose just so that it helps me kind of contour my nose a little bit also. So we're just doing little highlights and stuff for now. All right, so once I have that there, let me just damp my beauty blender a little bit more and then we're gonna go ahead and start blending this out. All right, so now I have my beauty blender nice and damp, like a real nice damp, it's not dripping wet, all right? I am gonna start doing small little, small little pats, just to make sure this gets nice and blended in correctly, okay? And what I'm doing, and the reason for highlighter and contouring is to bring a little bit more dimension back to your face. Because once you put on the flatness of the foundation, um, your face just kind of shows flat. So you need to bring in a little bit of highlighter, a little bit of contour, just to kind of give your face some more dimension. Go down the bridge of my nose just to Blend that out. 
and you start to see how my face is, is coming together. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to use two types of setting powders. Uh, the first one that I use is a Charlotte Tilsbury, and this is the airbrush setting or brightening powder. Um, it looks like this, guys. I like to use this because for some reason it actually brightens um, underneath my eye just a little bit, like just enough to get that brightness. But then, um, you know, I go in with another setting powder to make sure I kind of finish it off, if that makes sense. So I just put a little bit on my same damp beauty blender. And all I do is just place a little bit of this directly where I put my highlighter or my concealer and it just you see how it kind of brightens that up a bit it just gives it kind of like a nice brightening all right now the second setting powder that i use is my sasha buttercup setting powder this is the same one that i used for my crease of the eyes so i'm just going to use a little bit of this um a lot of people love baking sometimes i bake sometimes i don't you know what i mean it's like it's sometimes I do, sometimes I don't type stuff. So it's nothing, it's not, not it's not bad and it's not good. So all I do is put it directly where I want it exactly to go. All right, so I decided to go ahead and bake, do the whole baking thing whatever that works um the next thing i'm going to do is i am going to contour and i don't like contouring my nose too much because i use the um concealer to give it that contour because it's using the actual foundation as a contour type thing um but what i like to do is i like to use the um fenty beauty matchstick and this is in the shade espresso um and i just kind of place this shade just like that on my cheekbones just like that boom nothing crazy and then what i do is i go in with my mx design um brush and all i do is i carry this up all right so now what we're gonna use is I like to kind of darken up that contour just a little bit more and I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tillsbury and this is the beautiful skin sun kissed glow bronzer holy crap this is what it looks like <laughs> all right uh, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and I am just gonna place this directly where I put that um, that contour and all I'm doing is just putting a little bit on there and just blending that up and out. So you're going to start seeing like that darkness right here, which is, that's perfectly fine. And then the other side, you're going to see that as well, just like right here. So that's good. That's fine. Because we're going to blend this out even more. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. This is the MAC 109 brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that even more. And then kind of bring it up to my forehead just a little bit. Don't worry if it's like looking a little dark right now. I'm gonna try and fix it. <laughs> it's gonna work. Okay, just, just trust the process. It's gonna work. Okay, all right, we good. All right, y'all. Now I am going to set the entire face. And what I'm using is the Black Opal um this is the soft velvet finishing powder this is the powder that i always use i don't know if you guys remember watching some of my old videos but i always use this palette or this powder um and uh the product looks a little bit different because it's in a different container little design but same thing it works perfectly it's fine right so i'm gonna take a little bit of this put it on a nice fluffy brush and i'm gonna put this on my face just like that and all, all i'm doing is patting it in okay and after i pat it then i'm just gonna slowly start blending all of that in and 
then one thing I like to do is go back in with my beauty blender and just press in that powder again just to kind of go over that one last time before I set my entire face. All right, I am not done with the eyes yet. So I'm gonna go back into the contour palette and I'm gonna go ahead and use Afro Beats, which is this light blue shade here. And I'm gonna place it directly under my eyes. I think that this pop of color is going to be looking pretty nice. You can honestly add any certain color that you want underneath your eyes. Um, I just want this pop of color because I think I remember doing this for a quinceanera that I went to. And it actually looked pretty nice. It looked pretty cute. So I'm going to do the same thing. And all I'm doing, as you can see, is I'm just taking kind of like a small little angled brush just like this. Popping a little bit of color on there and then just slowly packing it on at the bottom. That's all I'm doing. See how it kind of brightens that up and gives a little different color to it? And for me, I like to put these, I like to use any color under my bottom lash line. Um, I like to save that last because I just feel like, I don't, it just, I don't know, the color just stays better. And uh, since I am doing my lash line and my concealer and stuff I don't want that color to kind of blend away or fade away so I just like to wait to the last step before um before my makeup is done to actually put this on there so all I'm doing is just placing that color directly at the bottom and yeah it feels funky and I don't really do my bottom lash line either um, it just, I don't know, I can't, I can't do it. Some people be sitting there and do it, I can't. Like this right here is kind of a, a little struggly for me, but I'm making it work. Yeah, awesome. All right, so next what I like to do is go in and set my entire face. And what I'm using is honestly water. It is just in a NYX uh, matte finishing bottle, but this is just water in here. Urban Decay does an amazing job, you know, with setting sprays and things. So if you want to use Urban Decay, by all means, go ahead and use that. But just for today, I'm using water just to set everything because it seems like water and mist and I don't know. To me, it just, it works. It works. It works for a day. So this is all I'm using. All right. And the key is for makeup guys out there, your face need to be glistening just like this. Okay. So whenever you put on setting spray, make sure your face is glistening. Just bling, bling, bling. All right, we gonna make this dry and then we're gonna go ahead and put on a highlight. All right, I'm just trying to hurry up and, and fan it out. Okay, so we're gonna make this dry. All right, I think it's dry. Hold on. All right, it's dry. We're good. We're good. All right, still, eyes are not done yet. What I like to do also is bring in a little bit of something in my inner tear duct here. So I'm going to go back into the cultural palette, and I'm going to use this shade called La Jaw, I think it is. It's this nice, like, kind of bright shade right here at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to use that color, and I'm going to place that in my inner tear duct just to kind of um, brighten that up just a little bit okay just a little bit. that is honestly just all you need to do is brighten it up a little bit and that same color I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a little bit on my brow just to kind of give it a little bit of a highlight Okay. That's all you need, a tiny smidge. And I like to kind of put it on the back half, back end side, back end half side of my brow. And then last, we are going to go ahead and put on some highlight. Um, the highlight that I'm going to use today, honestly, I'm just going to be using one of the eyeshadow palettes. Okay, the shade that I'm going to, actually, I'm going to go into the Nubian 2 palette. 
which is this palette here. And I'm gonna be using the shade Nefertiti, which is this really nice kind of golden brown or golden shade. Just put a little bit on a nice kind of highlighter brush. Um, this brush is the Real Techniques, I have no idea, but it looks like this. Uh, the writing has been blocked off, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and place some, what I like to do is put it on my nose, just to kind of brighten that up a bit. See how that brightens up? Right here in the little middle section, right that. And then all right here. We get just a little bit more. And I love this shade as a highlight. I'm telling you right now, guys, you don't need to go out and buy any sort of highlight. Just use your eyeshadow palette. You know, if you have a nice shimmery shade, go ahead and use that. I had to put some here on my nose and then a little on my cupid's bow. Just like that. So the lips, last but not least, I'm using the Sephora Lip Liner Pencil and this is in the shade Molasses. I'm just gonna use this color and go ahead and line my lips. I'm going for like a just a regular neutral look. Nothing too crazy. I just love this color to line my lips. For some reason it just, it just works for me. You know what I mean? That's all it is. Just like that. And I'm just gonna uh, mix my lips in a little bit, just like that. And then next, what I'm gonna be using is the CoverGirl Lip Stick. And it is in the shade Morado, which it looks like this. And this is a really nice, pretty shade. It's a nice neutral color uh, for me, just like that. And all I'm doing is just mix it in onto, onto my lips. And if you want to kind of clean up a couple stuff, um, what I would suggest is, like right here, always tend to have a little bit of lipstick there, which is perfectly fine. It is what it is. But, yeah. And then, um, if you want, you could also add a little bit of highlighter on your Cupid's bow down here. Some people like that, some people don't. I mean, for me, it is what it is. But, yeah. So guys, thanks so much for watching the video and please make sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified every time you, I upload a brand new video. I'm looking to upload a video at least once a week with mini shorts in between. So please keep on staying tuned because you're going to see more of me. All right. You're going to see more of me. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again for watching. Bye.